and it's been another week. Eliza and I are away at the uh, at a farm, at her family's farm. Today, I thought I would kind of talk about something that's been on my mind this week because of crab sticks. It's the what am I doing this for conversation. And I have noticed this happens quite a bit uh, on YouTube, about once a year. And so crab sticks is a hilarious British vlogger. And he made a video this week in which he just kind of talked about how he felt lost as a YouTuber and how he didn't feel like what he was doing meant anything to him and why he disappears for so long. And then a couple people like Olin and Carrie and uh, Dan, the actor, they all made responses about this. And they all responded to the YouTube aspect of things, like being sincere as a vlogger on YouTube and what people YouTube for, whether to be famous or not, or because they have something to say and about using YouTube as a gateway to other things. See, these are all the questions. But one thing that people didn't really talk about was the fact that Chris said he felt depressed. That the whole aspect of this had, had left him feeling depressed. And this is something that I think happens cyclically every year to YouTubers. It usually happens earlier in the year. And my video, I think, kind of related to it as well. There's a video I made back in February called Why YouTube is Discouraging. Um, one of my more viewed <laughs> updates, and if that doesn't say something, you know. But I talked about feeling unfulfilled interacting with the medium and, and what my expectations were and, and why I was feeling unfulfilled. And I think that is a creative thing. At the same time as I was feeling that way, a podcaster I follow did a whole episode about how he had just seen through his work. He'd seen through himself and felt like he had been overly optimistic and delusional in terms of the way he had been thinking about the stuff he was creating. It was very much what the same thing that I would have been feeling at that time. And I think... Hi. I'm vlogging. This is a camera. <laughs> so I think there's something kind of like in the air for people who create stuff because these things tend to happen all at once and usually happens at the beginning of the year because like after a new year, you know, like everything is different, but nothing really is different in terms of the, the stuff that you're making. You're still making your stuff. That's why it used to be people would come on to their channels at the beginning of the year and be like, oh, it's a new year. What do you guys want to see? because they, they want to change something, but they don't feel like they have anything new to do about it. Hi. Yeah. Creative people of the same generation, somehow it's in the air, this kind of dissatisfaction feeling, and we all catch it at the same time. And then there's like a period of going through the motions. Like I went through a long period where I was just like going through the motions because I knew the steps that were needed to be taken in order to get to the next creative point, you know? So you just do what you have to do to get through it. People always talk about waiting for the muse and, you know, like, I'm waiting to be inspired and all that stuff. And that's regal, you know? But people who do it for a living have to work through that phase. They've got to work past the point where it doesn't feel interesting to them anymore. But, like, there's still something in them that keeps them doing this stuff no matter if it feels interesting to them or not. Someone who wants it bad enough to just keep pushing through the apathy <laughs> of, like, a, a creative drought. Like, like, for example, me. I'm on vacation this weekend. Uh, here with Eliza, beautiful open outdoors, and we went out for ice cream and going around doing farmy stuff like pumping water and we're gonna tour a distillery, that sounds good. And yet, I brought my laptop and a shot to work on so that while people are hanging out watching movies or whatever later tonight, I'm gonna be sitting there rotoscoping a shot for episode nine. I mean, of course there's gonna be time when I'm sitting around playing games with everybody because that's, that's fun to do also and everybody's together, you know, only so often. But there is gonna be that period of time that I still dedicate to finishing this project. Because even though, like, like right now, I said in the, this week's blog post that a lot of people had seen a lot of the episode lately. It really inspired me to want to finish the episode. Can't do that if you're on vacation, unless you bring a shot to work on while everybody else is having fun sometimes. I think that has a lot to do with why people, why their channels go dark. People do a YouTube channel for a good month or two, they're really dedicated to it, and then they realize that even if they do start getting a bunch of viewers, nothing else about their life changes. You know? And then they're like, wait, I thought this would in some way fulfill me. Or if like a bunch of people started watching me, I would feel like it's different if you have enough subscribers that you can actually quit your job and make YouTube your job. But that, that percentage of people in the world is so small. And I know a couple guys who are lucky enough to do it. You know, lucky they work their asses off. But like they pushed through the stuff where they were like, this isn't interesting to me anymore. They haven't talked to me about that, but I'm sure it has to happen. It happens all the time people all the time. It can be disheartening when you don't feel inspired to do it anymore, you know? 
people are looking at me weird because you're sitting alone in a doorway talking to a little camera balanced on my knee. You had a little camera balanced on my knee. Did you know that? Whoa, moving my knee. Oh, it's the ladies. What do you think about inspiration? Do you got to push through the times when you're not inspired or do you wait to be inspired? Um, I have a tendency to wait to be inspired, but it always backfires. If I can actually push through, I'm much more likely to get inspired again quickly. Work on something you've already got started so it doesn't like require that combustion element. And just if you keep working, it'll just kind of organically lead to inspiration in a way that if you just stop and you're inert, it's much less likely to happen. She talks about the combustion element. That's when people are excited to work on a project. And there's so many people who are like, I have ideas for movies all the time. I, you know, I'd make a great movie. Unless you make the movie, nothing. I think Hemingway likened writing to bleeding through a pen. Right. So you guys, I hope you have a great week. I did not bring any Pops logos with me, so no Pops logo. You wanna draw a Pops logo? Sure. That's the Pops logo. I hope you guys have a good week, and I will see you next time.